Like the recent video that I just purchased. I mean, purchase. Girl, I didn't purchase nothing. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I know. I've been at my the last like week or so because I was dealing with my womanly monthly issue and honestly just wasn't in the mood for it <sighs> getting ready for my first client Let me turn this on I feel cute today. Hold on, where can I show you? I'm trying to figure out how to show you the full look. Okay, so I got this dress from. Wait. I got this dress from Pretty Little Thing. Long sleeve, white. It's got a like a super high slit. And then I put on these stockings. Where did I get these stockings? Y'all, the camera keeps going down while I'm trying to show you. This is crazy. But I got on these um, stockings. I think these stockings I, bought, I purchased at Spencer's. And then I've got on these boots from Forever 21. So this is the full look. Right? It's cute. I just wanted to dress up and look cute, honestly, because... I. I keep forgetting to look in the lens okay that was the goal is to learn to focus on the lens but yeah I, I decided to um, be a little cute because as of lately I don't know what it is but I've just been like slowly letting myself go and I don't like that like the recent video that I just purchased I mean purchase girl I didn't purchase nothing the recent video that I just um, uploaded where I was speaking about like how far I've come in life and I was just doing like a compilation of all the accomplishments I've done and all the accomplishments in life that I've like reached all my goals like I went to fashion week I got to sit front row I've got to meet like all these cool celebrities um, I've got to do like the show that I really loved um, I got to go backstage at like concerts I got to do festivals I got to, I got to partake in festivals I got to like it's just like so many amazing things that I've done. I've done magazine shoots, etc. And I don't know, like, since 2020 hit, you know, life just kind of went on a spiral of craziness. And I was just like looking at all my old photos and all of the moments of my life. And I'm just like, wow, I used to really love getting dressed up and I still do. But it's just like as of lately, it's just... I don't know what it is. I've just felt uninspired, unmotivated to even try. And so when I was making that video and I was looking at all the different hairstyles and I'm looking at my jewelry and accessories and I'm looking at my outfits and I'm looking at my, you know, like my makeup and it's just like, I don't know, it just, it woke me up a little bit. And then I, I looked around and I'm realizing like, girl, you've been wearing the same pants, like the army pants that I've been wearing that you guys see me in the video like I've been wearing the same pants for like three four years I've been wearing the same shirts I've been wearing the same dresses and I got a closet full of clothes so this is this is just me slowly getting back to myself and also I do want to kind of revamp my closet and my wardrobe just a tad bit I just want to change it just a bit I don't want to do too much because I like who I am I like my style I just want to kind of spice it up just a little bit make it more fun make it more elegant and then also you know i'm not 18 19 anymore and there's nothing wrong with those clothes but like i still shop at forever 21 i still go to h&m i still go to zara i still go to all these locations but i just want to find things that are fun that are still a little bit edgy and still my style but i want it to be a little bit more 
um, colorful, I want it to be a little more fun, and also I want it to feel like who I am at age 37. Like this is this is a different moment in my life, and I just want to. Basically, I'm rambling on like I do. You know, I talk a lot. I'll, I'll keep going and going and going for days. But anyway, yeah, just trying to get back to myself. So I put on this cute ensemble, and then I did my hair. And my hair came out really cute, y'all. And I just kind of like, what do you call that? Elastic. The little tiny like elastic um, rubber bands you do for your braids and stuff. I did that and I just slipped it back and how I got these curls to look this cute um, I use a little bit of leave-in conditioner what's the comp what's the company I've been using lately Monday Monday I think that's don't hold me on it whatever leave-in conditioner that you really like so what I did is I did bantu knots so you know you do bantu knots you do like sections and then I Put a little bit of that leave-in leave -in conditioner i didn't do too much you want it to be like semi-wet with the leave conditioner but then you still want your hair to feel to be dry so it's like half wet half dry i put that on my hair and then i did bantu knots and and then i wrapped it up overnight and then when i got up in the morning i took it all apart and then after taking it all apart the trick is to grab a pick and then just you know hit the roots and that's how I got it. So it's like a, it's a messy, cute look. It's messy, but it still looks put together. And it comes out curly and nice, but you, your hair still looks like it's blow dried. That's the trick, right? So it still looks cute, and then it's fluffy, and, and then, y'all know I don't know how to do my baby hair. I've been trying to do baby hairs for a long time. I don't know what I'm doing. So all I did was put a little bit of the eco, eco, echo, eco, um, gel, and I just did these sections and that was it and then I put on my alien jewelry that's the alien and then the green pendant because my favorite color is lime green but of course you're not gonna find lime green stones in jewelry but anyway and then I got my little spaceship you know I love aliens my entire salon it's all like alien themed and also like my earrings have aliens so that's just the vibe I love aliens and skulls and then on this hand, I put on my rings, my silver. So this one right here is from back home. It's from Cabo Verde. And this one is the evil eye. So really love that. And um, the lady who made it, she made it in front of me. And she sized my hands to make sure it fit. So that was pretty effing cool. And then these ones I got from like random shops in New York City. I believe in like soho area because they used to well now they shut down now they have more like newer um clothing stores or they have like eatery but they used to have like these random jewelry shops and like little corners in soho so i i purchased these from them very affordable and then this one right here is an alien invasion i don't know if you could tell from that because it's super tiny wait is that gonna focus should i do that is it gonna focus no y'all it's not gonna focus but anyway it's like it's a city city skyline with like the planet and the spaceship is somewhere in there it's like little detailed and then this one i used to work um for zales for pearson pagoda and so i purchased this from them so this one i need to clean it this one's um a little dirty and then this one is the letter L for my name, like Lizzy. And then this ring right here is my favorite. I purchased, where did I purchase this? I purchased it at a flea market. At a flea market, I just don't know what flea market I purchased it. But this ring I've had for like eight years. And it's my favorite skull ring. Y'all, why is this not focusing? Okay, there we go. It's my favorite skull ring, and then look at all the cool... Let me get my face out of the way. Maybe you can see better if I move out of the way. Look at all the cool, like, stones and all of that in it. Okay? Yeah. So the silver and the gold. I just wanted to feel cute. That's what I got on today. I don't know. Maybe after work today I should take myself out to eat. But yeah, I'm about to 
set up, get ready for my client, I'll catch y'all in a bit. I want to go into the sales section and see what they have because I ain't got no winter clothes. I don't have like, this is long sleeve and maybe a few other things that I have that are long sleeves. Everything I have is summer wear because I like the heat. I like summer weather. Summer, spring and summer is my type of vibe. I'm not really a fall winter kind of girl. But... I don't have anything to wear so I want to see if Urban Outfitters have anything on sale because you know 
they be hella overpriced. They be expensive for no reason at all. And um, since I have this little break, I'm going to go there before my next client because they close at 8 o'clock. And by the time I leave the salon, it's going to be 8 o'clock and I'm not going to have time to go. So I'm going to do that. And then also, even though I shouldn't, I do, even though I shouldn't, um, I do want a pizza. So I'm going to go and buy myself a pizza. And then after my last client, after like 8 p.m., because H&M and Forever 21, they close, I think H&M closes at 11 p.m. and Forever 21 closes at 10 and they're all around the same area. So I think after work, I'm going to go to H&M and Forever 21. But right now, I'm going to go to Urban Outfitters. Ooh, my lip is so dry. I'm going to go to Urban and see what they have on sale. If they have any goodies. And then, you know, buy my pizza and then come back. Hopefully I can do it. Hopefully I can do it quick. I could do it within good timing and come back and finish work. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. God, my lip is so dry. I don't know if it's... Earlier when I came in, it was semi-warm. It wasn't really... It was chilly, but it wasn't like freezing. So... I always put my sweater underneath. Oh, mm, my coat. Okay. All right, so we about to head out. I'm back y'all um I found nothing I found absolutely nothing at urban the sale prices in my opinion were not sale prices $50 $70 $75 to me I'm basically paying full price because it's, it's urban outfitter items you know like I feel like the sale prices should be between 15 to 25 dollars you know and i like the shop i like the store i like the shop i like their items some of the things i can understand why they price it the way they do but others i'm just like it, it's just way too overpriced for no reason at all so i left and i got myself a slice of pizza delicious 99 cent new york slice Y'all, look what happened to my fingernail. Can you see it? Can you see right here in the corner? And then I don't know if the camera is showing you. But I used some Jamaican curry seasoning 
to make myself some turkey neck, I did like a different recipe and I just wanted some curry. So I picked up the Jamaican curry seasoning and you know, eating with this finger. And I didn't notice until afterwards that it stained the corners and underneath it. So now it's like, it's that curry yellow orange. Girl. But anyway, I didn't find anything. So, and I came back because I didn't want to be late to my next client. So I'm just gonna, you know, go afterwards to H&M and Forever 21 and see if there's anything available. I'm trying to talk, but I really want a slice of this pizza. Oh my goodness, so good. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I always get a regular slice because I don't eat pork, so I don't get the pepperoni. However, a lot of people tell me that pepperoni is their favorite, so I don't know. I can't tell you. But the reason is, is I never liked pizza in the past. Like, it was okay, but I never really liked it. And as of lately, I've been obsessed. I don't know if it's because I've been in New York for so long, because, yeah. <laughs> tell me why I was having a conversation with my sister. And in the middle of the conversation, I'm speaking to her and I'm like, yeah, dead ass. What? Who am I? When do I ever say dead ass? I, I think I've been in, in New York too long because I don't speak like that. The girl is changing. Who is she? But this pizza is delicious. I'm going to finish it off. I've got three more clients. Two of them are simple. I think one is a solid. I think one is level one. And then I think the third one is level two. But I'm not sure what kind of art they're doing. Also, I don't know if I'm going to record all. I most likely won't. Honestly, when I, when I vlog salon like a, a week in the salon or whatnot, I don't vlog every single nail because I would be here for hours. Not only recording, but also editing at home. So I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll do the solid colors today since I did a solid color earlier. Yeah, because I feel like the solid color, colored um, nails and girls don't get enough love. So maybe we'll do that. But I'm going to finish this pizza because it is so good. I am done I'm done for the day I got invited by um, one of my clients she's an up-and-coming musician um, what was I saying she's been working on her music video and I guess it premieres tomorrow and she invited me to like a private screening and I'm debating if I should go that's where I'm at right now but that's not until like later on so y'all I need more gloss because this is crazy but I'm gonna go to H&M see what they have and go to Forever 21 after actually I should go to Forever 21 first because it's on the other side and then I can walk back yeah I'm gonna do that 
And then I was put on by my client. She said that for underwear, that, um, what's their name? I want to say American Apparel, but that, of course, shut down. American Eagle. That American Eagle has really good quality underwear. I don't know if there's one around here, but I'm not going to go there today. I'll, I'll probably check it out tomorrow. Come, I'll probably come in early before my 11 o'clock appointment and check and see if there's an American Eagle around this area. And then, or if they have it online, I'll check online. If they have it online, then I can see if their underwear is good quality because... I don't understand why people aren't making cotton underwear. You know, like, it's fun, it's cute to have silk and lace and all of that, but on a regular basis every day, it's not good for your pH balance. Like, your cooter needs to breathe. You need cotton underwear. So, yeah, putting my rings back on because I went to the bathroom. And even though this outfit is cute, these these tights, I love them, but they're a pain in the butt and the rings keep getting stuck in them. So, yeah, I'm going to go check out Forever 21 first and then H&M. I'm not going to really do a big walkthrough. I'm just going to see if there's anything I like in general. I'm not going to do like a huge haul or anything because I just don't have the patience for it right now. I'm tired. I did a full day, so I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to look for winter items because knowing me, I will end up in the section of crop tops and that's not what I'm supposed to be doing today, so. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to head out. Okay, y'all, uh, back home. So, as you've seen from the videos I showed you of me trying it on, I put it inside out so I don't stain my shirt. But I did end up buying this top. Super cute. You've seen when I tried it on. It was on sale. Original price was $24.99. And, wait, is that one H&M or Forever 21? It was $24.99 and I got it on sale for $14.99. So basically $15. And then when I went to H&M, I didn't find a lot of things. Like I said, I'm trying to build up my wardrobe and I'm trying to switch it up. So I'm going to buy things little by little. And then this red dress. I mean, it fit me so effing good. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with this dress. I don't even wear red like that. But this also was on sale for 
and um, it's an extra small. Typically, I'm a, I'm a small medium, but it is a stretch knitwear, so it hugged my body like a bodycon. Love that. End up buying that, the shirt, and then of course I had to buy a bra because <sighs> I'm sick and tired of shopping for underwear and bras, I swear. But this one is um, going for $27.99. So basically when you round it up, $30. So $15.98 at H&M. And then... No, that's a lie. Girl, what am I talking about? $43.98 at H&M. And then I paid... $14.99 at Forever 21. So basically round it off, you could say that's a good 60. Yeah, $60. But I'm tired, I'ma eat and take a shower and go to bed and I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Good morning. This is what I woke up like today. Um, as you can tell, I definitely did not wrap my hair up. It is not only gloomy outside as I'm looking out, it's also a rainy day. And y'all know, I'm on a mission to dress up and look cute and just like get back to myself. But now I'm looking, like I don't have any winter clothes. I definitely don't have any rain clothes. Um, I, still, I still need to do laundry. So I have some things in the closet that are dirty and haven't been washed yet so I don't know if I could be cute today I might have to be basic again I might have to I might have to put on my regular clothes that I've been wearing for the last few months I'm a little annoyed and then I'm deaf like what am I supposed to do with this hair today you know like should I do a messy bun should I do like a loose, messy bun where I just kind of like slick it with the jam but I don't mess up the blowout? Because if I do two, no, that's too much trying to do two buns. But then if I leave it out or if I do that, I wonder if I could do that hairstyle that I had yesterday because I don't know if like, if the rain, if the rain is going to mess up my hair because it's so tricky like it's so tricky because it could either work really well or because of the rain and the moisture my hair might just end up like poofing and looking more electrocuted but she looking crazy what i don't even know what temperature it is outside let me see it's 62 degrees so it's not really it's not hot but it's not cold it's like it's like right at the edge of starting to get a little nippy outside but yeah girl it's raining oh my goodness it's raining all day today and it's raining tomorrow I work today and tomorrow as well so what am I gonna wear I don't know y'all I'm gonna figure it out and I'll get back to you yeah I can't breathe I put on skinny jeans today and I was in the train grasping for my breath. I, I, I was trying not to pass out. Like I had to unbutton it underneath my jacket because I don't know how y'all do this. And I got a, I got a small booty. I got like I got an infant booty. So for the girls, that just be thick all over. Like, first of all, putting these on, I should have known better. I told myself I was going to throw these jeans out. I did say I was, I was going to throw them out or give it to one of my nieces and get rid of it. And then today, because I didn't have anything to wear and I wanted to dress up, and I was just like, you know, this is not dressy, but at least I'm not wearing big, loose, like, sweatpants or anything like that. And... Girl, I couldn't breathe. Like, what is... How am I supposed to do nails today? 
I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna suffer. There, there should be like a skinny jean Olympics. I feel like that should be added to the Olympics because it is a challenge getting these on. I don't know. I just. Oh. <laughs> Unzipping this little bit feels so free. What am I gonna do? That was just such a dumb move. Now that my jeans are unbuttoned and I'm sitting comfortable, Lord Jesus. And you know it's tight that like once you unbutton and you unzip and as you sit down, it keeps unzipping more and more. I don't know what I was thinking. I need to, this is why I need to go shopping for new items. I need to get rid of things like this because it's just, it's not for me anymore. I went to the Chinese spot near me and I went to go buy um, some vegetable dumplings. These dumplings are small. They're small. Usually when I get them around my way in Brooklyn, the dumplings are bigger. No, I lied. It's not small. It's just that they put less. That smells delicious. I can't wait to try this, but yeah vegetables dumpling that's about to be my breakfast okay so i'm about to take this down i'll catch y'all in a bit Nails are done. You haven't been looking at them because you want to be surprised. All right, go ahead. Look at it. Let me know how you feel. <laughs> Both hands. They're so pretty. Oh, oh my god, why are my eyes watering? Oh my gosh. <laughs> my eyes are water. Oh my. Oh look at the. Yeah, hold on, my eyes are watering. <laughs> nah. <laughs> why is your eyes watering? Yo, oh my god. Is that a good sign? It is, it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm happy then, I'm relieved. The freaking glitter. Yo, oh my, look at the detail. See, <laughs> see, oh my little I tried. Lilies. Yo, this is like, for, <laughs> this is dope. <laughs> I 
that was so cute I'm so happy she loved her nails. She's usually like a simple nail kind of girl. She usually does like French tip and whatnot. And um, she wanted to do Day of the Dead. You know, she's Hispanic and she celebrates Day of the Dead. And I was honestly, I was a little nervous and I didn't want to screw it up because I'm like, okay, this is something that's a little close to heart. It's part of her culture. So I wanted to make sure I did it correctly. And I'm just so happy she liked it. I wasn't expecting her to get teary-eyed, guys, but that was beautiful. That was so beautiful. Things like that make me happy to do what I do, you know? Seeing people connect with nail art like that and just making people happy. So, that was beautiful. But, what a week it's been. <laughs> um that's it for the vlog this round i don't know what i'm gonna get into next week um i think i might go thrifting honestly because i'm still trying to build up my wardrobe so i think for next week's vlog i might do a little thrifting and a little haul to see what i find because i did i did some research i have a few thrift stores that i like to go to but i did some research and a few um a few influencers who live around here were shouting out different areas in Manhattan. I typically thrift in Brooklyn, so I want to see what they have in Manhattan. But yeah, that'll be next vlog. Um, so yeah, that's it, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll catch y'all next round.